All right, this is Justin with Targeting Alpha. Back with a quick video today for um, confluence of indicators. So I'm going to go more in depth to this on a, a video in the future, but I just saw this today. I kind of wanted to kind of get it in front of you. So uh, basically the strategy is, is not necessarily playing one indicator, but having several indicators that you're familiar with and getting those to line up and synchronize into you know making yourself a good entry or exit of a trade and so i just kind of wanted to pull up this stock uh, pays i was watching this yesterday i never got a play on it i was actually looking for it to break out over this top level because um, it had some pretty good clear skies over that let me pull this up on a daily real quick as you can see it's been in this trading range here and I think that, you know, getting over that, it's got a gap to fill. But uh, beside the point, let me pull this back in on a five minute here. So looking at this, you can see it pretty made a pretty strong move pre-market and then at the open. And you can see it had some resistance level here. And pulling back further, that was some support level as well had resistance there in the past here, had support here. So this uh, level here at, you know, the 1062 range, 1065 range is a very strong support or resistance level. The stock does like to react to that uh, going back to the past. So pulling this in here to this daily chart, as you can see, once it moved up into that, that top range, that it's been stuck in for uh, several weeks or a month. Uh, you can see that it did reject hard off of that upper VWAP band. <clears throat> it was outside of the Bollinger Bands. So it went overbought on the RSI, and I think that's potentially why we didn't get any follow through beyond that level. You just had all those things kind of lining up. But I just kind of want to show you here. When you pull a Fibonacci retracement from the bottom to the top of this move, you can see here as it pulls back to that 1065 level, it lines up almost perfectly with that 61.8 retracement Fibonacci, which is one of the strongest levels of uh, dip by retracement. It also had pushed outside of the bottom VWAP. And um, the only thing that would have made this entry any better would have been an oversold on the RSI or another moving average down here to kind of support it. But as you can see, you had uh, three strong indicators telling you this could potentially be a good buy. You had your support your 61.8 strong Fibonacci level, and also it was outside of the VWAP, which last time it did that, it had a nice pop. It actually made a, a nice pop here at the 50 EMA, and it was outside of the, the VWAP. So I just want to kind of do a quick video on confluence of indicators. I'm going to try to do a more in-depth video in the future about confluence of indicators and kind of... Um, some different strategies along that just a little more in depth with more um, examples and whatnot but I just want to kind of get this video in front of you because I saw it today when I was looking at this on the chart so if you like this video uh, subscribe to my channel There'll be lots more videos coming also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos which is usually on a weekly basis and um, it's uh, about to start the trading day, so good luck to you guys. Hope you make a lot of money today. And uh, comment below with any uh, good plays that you guys made today. All right, have a good one.